Hi there, and welcome to our next course, The Great Climate System. How's the weather? That's a question we ask a lot in the UK, although I'm genuinely interested in what the weather is and how it changes. Do you think it's different now to how it normally is this time of year? Is it hotter, wetter, drier than usual? Is this normal or is this climate change? We've definitely seen some extreme weather around the world in the past few years. It's crippled transport, it's destroyed crops, it's ruined homes. So what's changing and why is it changing? Those are two of the big questions for this climate course. Let's start with another. What is the difference between weather and climate? Weather is the winds, the clouds, the rain, the hail, the snow, the sun, the thunderstorms. It's what you're seeing and feeling right now. And the weather can change very quickly, day by day, hour by hour, minute by minute. Weather conditions vary greatly and they depend on where you are in the world. British weather, for example, is famously unpredictable. And it is true. If you don't like the weather one day, there's a good chance you might like it the next. In meteorological terms, weather is the temporary state of the Earth's atmosphere in a particular place at a particular time. The sun heats Earth and its atmosphere, the layer of air above it, but the sun doesn't warm the Earth evenly. On any particular day, the temperature could be as hot as 50 plus degrees C close to the equator and as cold as minus 80 degrees C down in Antarctica. These local differences in temperature drive winds and move clouds and contribute to the weather you experience daily at home, be that a storm or fog or a perfectly lovely sunny day. However, if you keep track of these daily weather conditions over years and years, you can spot a pattern. How hot is summer each year? How cold are the winters? Now you're looking at climate rather than weather. Again, if you're a definitions type of person, climate is the average of the weather conditions experienced over long time periods, anything from 30 years to thousands of years. Climate is characterized by these average values for temperatures, precipitations, dryness. These patterns define a region's climate and give us a way to describe the usual weather conditions for a region. Planet Earth is divided into five major world climate zones. Tropical, dry, temperate, continental, and polar. Antarctica differs greatly from that of the Amazon or the Sahara Desert. Even though the climate here is usually hot and dry on a particular day at a particular hour, maybe even a particular minute, you might get rain even in the driest desert. So top tip, always carry an umbrella if you're off to the desert. The climate might be hot and dry, but the weather could be rain. A nice way to think about this is that the weather determines the outfit you choose to wear on a specific morning. Whereas the climate determines the kind of clothes you have in your wardrobe. The key is that a region's climate is assessed over a much longer time scale than weather and a much wider area too. You can split the earth up into the climate it experiences in various zones, or you can look at the scale of the whole planet, at earth's climate, of our global climate. That's an average of all the climates worldwide. Now this global climate is what we use to observe global climate change. And if the global climate changes over time, that can lead to the local or global weather at a particular place at a particular time changing too. So climate represents the average state of a location's temperature and rain, etc., over time. Similar to a person's personality, all the emotions they could show through the year. Weather, however, represents the local, short-term fluctuations of these atmospheric properties, similar to a person's mood at any given moment. Both the weather and climate are the result of complex interactions between air, land, water, and life. 